जिस तरह अभी पहला भी थोड़े तो नाज पाई थी कि ये स्पैशलाइज डॉक्टर्स होंगे ने जोड़े कि दंदा की संभाल करते हैं टूडे वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट क्रॉस बाइट्स वॉट आर दीज एंड हाउ टू करेक्ट दैम लैट्स वेलकम डॉक्टर अली कनानी वेलकम टू द प्रोग्राम थैंक यू फीट मोस्ट वेलकम सो डॉक्टर कनानी लैट्स टॉक अबाउट क्रॉस बाइट्स टूडे सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट ओपन बाइट एंड अंडर बाइट सो वॉट इज क्रॉस बाइट देर आर सैवरल टाइप्स ऑफ क्रॉस बाइट्स There can be what's called an anterior crossbite, okay, uh, which is where the upper jaw sits behind the lower jaw. Right. There can be what's called a uh, posterior crossbite, mm -hmm. where the upper jaw sits within the lower jaw at the back. Okay. So, and the third type of uh, crossbite is what's called a buccal telescopic bite. Okay. And that is where the upper jaw is so wide mm -hmm. that it sits. Very much outside the okay. lower jaw. Mm -hmm. Now, if you if you look at the video segment, you'll see that in this particular example, that this patient has an anterior crossbite. Right. And you can see very clearly that the upper front teeth are sitting behind the lower front teeth. Mm -hmm. That's an anterior crossbite. If you look at the next video segment on the television, you'll see what's called a posterior crossbite, and you'll see how narrow the upper jaw is. You'll see that the upper teeth at the back are sitting inside the lower teeth. Right. You know that that is not the natural relationship. Mm -hmm. And the buccal telescopic bite, or also known as a scissors bite, mm -hmm. where you've got your upper teeth at the back sitting so far outside the lower teeth that the upper and lower front teeth just slide past each other. Okay. And it's uh, it's not common to have a buccal telescopic bite, but the first two types of cross bites are very common. Okay. Now, how to correct them with this advancement in technology, the latest uh, machines and the latest technology coming forward? So, what are the various means by which one can correct these? The correction of a crossbite depends, firstly, on the type of crossbite mm -hmm. and the age of the patient. Right. So, let's just briefly talk about anterior crossbites. Right. Anterior crossbites are corrected by two or three ways. Mm -hmm. You have to get the upper front teeth in front of the lower front teeth. Okay. Okay. So there's a few things you have to consider. Are you going to bring the lower front teeth backward? Mm -hmm. Are you going to bring the upper front teeth forward? Are you going to bring the upper jaw forward? Or are you going to bring the lower jaw backward? Okay. Or a combination of those. Right. Now, if the patient is young enough, the jaws uh, have not fully developed and the jaws are still very malleable. So you can use special appliances that can bring, for example, the upper jaw forward. Okay. If you look on the video screen, a perfect example of this, it's been around for many years, very popular, it's called a reverse pull headgear. Now, a reverse pull headgear, as you can see in the video, it's a, it's a small mask, okay, it's a headgear. Mm -hmm. It's something that the young child has to wear uh, all hours outside of school. So evenings, weekends, uh, and when they sleep. And as you can see, it's, it's anchoring itself on the forehead and on the lower chin, mm -hmm. and uh, using, a, using a series of strong elastics, orthodontic elastics, you can see in the video how the upper jaw and the upper teeth are being brought, being brought forward right. ahead of the lower teeth, correcting this anterior crossbite. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's an anterior crossbite. Right. Posterior crossbites are where the teeth, where the upper teeth are narrow at the back, okay, of the upper jaw. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look in the video here, in a young patient, you can use what's called a upper jaw expander. And a little key goes into the hole, and some of the audience has seen this before, and 
As you turn the key, the, whole, the screw gets bigger and the upper jaw starts to widen. Mm -hmm. Now this is something you can do only in a young child because the upper jaw has to be malleable enough, has to be soft enough, okay. that you can actually split it in half and widen the upper jaw right. non-surgically. Now in an adult patient, mm -hmm. in both of the above, in the first two scenarios, to bring either the upper jaw forward mm -hmm. or to bring the, make the upper jaw wider sideways, those are surgical procedures. Mm -hmm. So you would need a combination of braces and jaw surgery okay. in an adult. Or in a child, you can do it just with braces and this reversible headgear or the jaw expander. Okay. So this is how it's corrected. It does depend on the age. Right. Again, that's why it's important to have a, a child have an examination at as a younger age. Seven, eight, nine. This is when you want to see and detect these things. Okay. Uh, if these are not corrected, these crossbites, then what can be the consequences? There can be many consequences. Uh, for example, if a patient has an anterior crossbite, it becomes very difficult to chew. Imagine chewing having your lower teeth in front of your upper teeth. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine that? Not that easy, right? You're used to incising with your upper front teeth in front of your lower front teeth. Mm -hmm. But imagine chewing like this. The food gets falls, the food falls behind the lower front teeth. You just don't have the same ability to be able to cut the, chew, cut the food properly so that you can chew it and then swallow it. Right. Second thing, of course, is how does it look, right? Sometimes it can seriously affect a, a person's self-confidence and their self-esteem. Third thing would be, if you've got a patient that has a posterior crossbite, a lot of these patients get what's called premature wear of the teeth. Mm -hmm. Because the teeth are not fitting together correctly, mm -hmm. wear, you start wearing down teeth fast. Right. And as the cusps of the teeth start wearing down and they get flatter and flatter, mm -hmm. this results in uh, having to have more dental work done. Okay. Crowns done. Technically, if you lose teeth, you could have bridges done. Technically, if it gets bad, you could have dental implants done. Right. That's the consequences. Breakdown of the dentition. Okay. Something else that can happen is if you've got a patient that has a posterior crossbite, mm -hmm. and let's say that the upper jaw is quite narrow, but it's narrower on one side, not mm -hmm. the other side. Right. The lower jaw can start growing in the direction of the crossbite. Okay. So in young children, you can see this sometimes in uh, eight-year-olds, nine-year-olds, you start seeing the lower jaw growing Sideways. Sideways, yeah. Sideways. Right. And again, it's a, very, it's a relatively easy fix. You've got to widen the upper jaw. Okay. If you widen the upper jaw, mm -hmm. you're no longer guiding the lower jaw sideways, but the lower jaw is now going to grow forward. Okay. So those are some of the consequences. Okay. Uh, one other consequence that is certainly uh, referenced in the, in the dental literature mm -hmm. is jaw joint problems. Okay. Patients can have problems over here. Right. It's called TMJ, mm -hmm. temporomandibular joint. Okay. Right. Uh, they can have clicking sounds, which are okay, mm -hmm. but many times it can be clicking sounds accompanied by pain, by discomfort, by limited ability in opening and closing. Okay. Yes, the motions can be affected. Okay, and uh, also we hear about the bone loss. Uh, does it uh, also affect uh, the, it leads to gum diseases and also to bone loss also? It can. And okay. the reason for this is when someone has a crossbite, mm -hmm. because the teeth are not fitting together correctly, right. the forces in chewing mm -hmm. are not necessarily going down the long axis of the tooth. Right. If the forces aren't going down the long axis, you can have a breakdown in those types of things. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about the treatment. Uh, you mentioned a little bit that the child should be brought as early as possible. Yes. But are the treatments different for the children and for the adults? The treatments are similar. Mm -hmm. The only difference is that in adults, it's more complicated, right? and it can involve jaw surgery. Okay. That's the difference. If you want to widen an adult, an adult's upper jaw, right? how can you widen something that is fused to the rest of the skull? Mm -hmm. You've got to do some incisions right? so that you can split it. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it'll be a combination of braces and surgery. Mm -hmm. In young children, as you saw in the video before, it's relatively simple to turn the key right. and widen the jaw very gently, very softly, but very successfully. Okay. So as far as the prevalence of crossbites is concerned, uh, what do you feel, uh, how much uh, serious is this issue? And as you have already talked about the treatment, so towards the end, if you can let us know that how serious it is and what precautions should be taken to prevent it. Precautionary wise, I think the parents should be made aware that they should see an orthodontic specialist by age seven or eight. Okay. That would be your best prevention. Right. Because why try to diagnose something that you're not familiar with? Right. Have a specialist, have a dental specialist diagnose mm -hmm. that for you. Okay. Right? Uh, with regards to prevalence, of course, it is very common in the South Asian population. Okay. Okay. Boys and girls, 
Uh, I don't think there's a difference in gender. Mm -hmm. uh, Age-wise, you see it in young children, and then you see it in adults where it wasn't caught when they were younger. Right. Dr. Ali, thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Harry. Today, we have talked about the health segment with Dr. Ali Kanani, who has been talking about the health segment, that the cross-bites are very prevalent in South Asian pipes. This is the same message that if you have small children, if you have small children, if you have small children, then you can give them the right treatment. But if you have small children, then the treatment will be more expanded. So, this is why we have to say that if you have 7-8 years old, then you have to take a few checks. तो इस दिन आने करते हैं जी आज के इस प्रोग्राम की समाप्ति प्रोग्राम में शामिल होने की तानवाद फीडबैक ले छः सौ चार छः सौ तीन पचहत्तर पचवंजा या फिर ईमेल राही संपर्क कर सकते हो हरप्रीत एट अकाल टीवी डॉट कॉम असी तानवाद ही अपने स्पॉन्सर्स और एडवरटाइजर्स दे जिन्हें दी बदालत ये प्रोग्राम्स तो आड़े 